Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Zach. This is Fox Fire Photography, and we are here in the National Park of Sierra de Guadarrama, which is in the north part of the community of Madrid. We are summiting, well, not summiting, we're about to summit, El Pico de Peñalara. It's the tallest mountain in the Sierra de Guadarramas. And we're here because there's a slight chance that we may be able to see the Aurora Borealis from Madrid. And so I am going to try and take photos of it or maybe a time lapse or video, see how it works out. Anyways, let's go up. I am completely gassed right now. Super winded. I should probably exercise more. But look at this view. Isn't that nuts? What a view. This is a crazy hike. It's actually, it's not hard. They have it labeled as moderate to hard, but I would say it's like moderate to easy. I mean, if you don't have a heavy backpack on and there's not snow, I'd say it's light to moderate. It's not bad at all, to this point anyways. Going up to Peñalara looks a little bit uh, more difficult. Well, here's the first look of Peñalara from the top of, uh, I think this is Hermana Mayor. There it is. That's where we're going, over where that snow is. Here's a little refugio. And way down there is the uh, refugio that we're gonna have to stay the night. Something I find really funny time I travel to high elevations, if I ever have a snack in a bag, chips, they usually explode in my backpack or in the car. And when it happens, it scares the piss out of me. Uh, as you can see, this bag is getting pretty swollen from the altitude, so I guess it's time for a snack. Well, here I am, the top of Madrid and Segovia. I get, oh wow, what a great view. If you guys want to see something really cool and crazy, check this out. It's pretty wild, right? Pretty wild. Well, peeps, it turns out I will not be staying at the top of Peñalada, which is right here. Really great view. Uh, but if you can see behind me, there's a storm coming my way. And I'm currently on the tallest mountain in, uh, I don't think Castilla Leon, but 
Segovia, Madrid. Anyways, it's the tallest thing around here. So I am going down to El Refugio, which is down here. It'll probably take me a couple hours to get there. And I'll catch up with you there. We'll get set up and maybe have some clearer skies later tonight for some stars. Anyways, whatever. I'll see you at the bottom. Ooh. Madre mía, no puedo. Las rodillas. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's very humid. Yeah. But I like the life here in Spain. Es muy, es más relajante que Estados Unidos. Últimamente también depende del trabajo que tenga. Ya, ya es verdad. Era más relajado, hablamos todo, mire por bien, ya todo. Estamos buscando una salida. Oh. So, I'm pretty lucky. Uh, I barely made it to this refugio, or uh, refuge, I guess we call it. Uh, it's in the mountains, this is called a refugio de Zavala. I am gassed. That storm is whipping outside right now. This is uh, essentially what I'm gonna call home for the night. It's pretty dirty. I guess I'll sleep on the floor. Yeah. Oh man. It is coming down super hard. Can't really see it in the camera. Man. Oh man, there's some more lightning. Whoa. I'm going inside. guys a little bit of an update the storm well the first storm I think passed but there's another storm here and it just keeps raining and raining and lightning I have about five kilometers to get to the first station but there's nowhere to stay down there um, there's no hotel no hospital no bus no train no taxi so the best thing I can do for tonight is just stay here. And in the morning, if it's raining, then or lighting, I'm still gonna I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'll just go down, uh, scrap all the photography for the night. Uh, it's pretty late right now. I think it's about 11 p.m. So I got my sleeping bag out and I'm letting my feet air out because they smell pretty bad. And that's it. I get some sleep and. Hit it again tomorrow. So, see y'all guys tomorrow. Peace. Good morning. What a night. It stormed all night long. I think it only stopped uh, 
just like a couple hours ago, and it is currently 6.30 in the morning. So, no astrophotography last night. No photography of any kind last night. Pretty much just survival mode to stay out of the weather. But look at the view. It's not bad, right? Then, of course, over to our right, that's uh, Hermano Mayor. And then behind me is uh, Peñalara. It's pretty cool, but what I wanted to show you all first thing this morning is what I was able to stay in last night in Spain. It's illegal to what they call free camping, like tent camping, yeah, pretty much anywhere. You can do what's called the vacuum, which is sleeping in just a sleeping bag on the ground, but you have to be above like 2,000 meters in certain locations, but have these refugios and they're just kind of scattered across Spain in the wilderness. So if you're backpacking or something, normally as long as you can just make it to one of these, you're fine. Let's say these are probably find one of these every at least 15 kilometers. Let's say between 15 and 20 or less. Man, it's a lifesaver for me from last night. I guess, uh, oh, I got one of my feet up. It's pretty sore from yesterday. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and then start heading down off the mountain since uh, obviously not doing any astrophotography. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, time this kind of just right because last night I drank my last package of coffee and I have no food. Luckily it rained, so I filtered some water. Yeah, it's time to go. Hiking alone in places like this or hiking in small groups in places like this always reminds me of the movie The Ritual. If you ever feel like hiking in the forest, watch The Ritual first and then go hiking. Even though I think I'm alone on these trails, I'm not. Hay vaquitas. Que tal? Que aproveche. Atroyo. You're never alone up here in the mountains. All your animal friends. God, I kind of feel like Cinderella with all of her animal friends. Na, 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 na. I just realized that wasn't Cinderella, it was Snow White. Wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know my Dis... Is it Disney? I don't know. I don't know my cartoons anymore. Does the slipper fit? <sighs> Must be the one. Well, that's it. We are at the entrance. And it's time to make our way back home by bus. So who knows how long it's gonna take. It'll take me at least two hours just to get to Madrid. Then another hour and a half, two hours to get home by metro and train. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you around. <laughs>